Hey, welcome to the process. My name is Dr. John Bush. This is part four of my ADP versus end of the season fantasy points quarterbacks. Just to let you know, I'm going to go through at this level uh, ADP and the positions, but I'm actually got some more uh, investigation that I've done on ADP and wide receivers, and it will be running back. So I'm going to get deeper. I did hint that and discuss that in the Science of Fantasy Football dot com podcast episode 89. Okay, so you should be listening because uh, that's going to kind of forecast where I'm going. But I've got some really interesting uh, data. I'm looking at predictiveness of ADP in a little bit different way. Uh, needless to say, anything I'm doing is different than what's out there in cartooning land uh, for fantasy experts there. So let's do part four here. I've done, of course, you need to check out the first three parts. Let's continue. Uh, still working on ADPs and uh, the round of ADP. This is kind of the overall what round are the quarterbacks going. I've got the actual numbers in my database. Uh, 2005, uh, 2015 to 22. And, uh, the, and so what I do is numbers, the top, uh, of the quarterbacks, the numbers that were in the top 30%, in other words, the, 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 the cream right there, and then the, the total, in other words, kind of gives you an idea of how good the ADPs have been, you know, in forecasting, at least at this level, by round here. And remember, our takeoff was about the fifth or sixth round is probably as far as I want to go. And, you know, I started doing that. And then I realized looking at this data, it, it the sixth round shows the percent of, of uh, goodness is 62%. So it's like, okay, so this is tracking that same information. But anyway, it shows you the rarity I think it's 217. So we're talking 20%. So only 10% of the quarterbacks over the eight years end up being drafted in rounds two, three, four. We've got three this year, folks. I'm telling you, that is such a skew based on 2022. 20, and it's predictable. And so I think that opens <coughs> value rounds five and six. Uh, that would just make sense to me. But anyway, you'll have to dig deeper into just who we're... I think I mentioned that one of the lessons, uh, who these uh, uh, running uh, quarterbacks were. So anyway, it's pretty neat data. Needless to say, if you wait to the 10th round, or even the 11th round, especially the 11th round, you're in a world of hurt. So, uh, you know, it gets sad pretty quick out here. So this idea of the late quarterback, if your definition is earlier, 10th round and earlier, okay, okay, you might have something, but... If it's waiting 11th, 12th, 13th, you're going to be struggling to find any top-tier quarterbacks in that group. I know there's a few out there, but there's not many that has been in the top 30 percentile, folks. Okay, this is what this data shows you. Okay, it's, you know, it's not guess. It's like, I think this. This is the data. Okay, this is the data. And once again, why isn't the site you're paying for showing you this instead of all this other gobbledygook? If you don't understand this, 
I don't care what all the other flim flam they're they're sliding to you. I don't know what they're doing. This is free. This is Dr. Bush. This is how a scientist looks at this stuff. I don't know if I'm an expert in fantasy football, but I am in microbiology and data analysis. I've been doing it all my life, basically. So I don't care what these fools say. Okay, I've been doing this 30, 40 years of data analysis. Okay, so I'm I'm very happy with where I, I am in you know in what I'm doing. So anyway, okay, I'm getting cranky here. Cranky old man. Here's percent of total quarterback draft in the upper 30 percentile. Okay. And I just plotted that data. And it is clear that uh, round two, the elite of the elites. And this year we got three. Very amazing. Then we have rounds three, four, five, and six. Kind of another tier. Then we have seven, eight, nine, ten, and then below ten. I mean, it looks to me like you got one, two, three, four, maybe five tiers. Okay. So you do not need to be fishing past the sixth round if you want any kind of shot at, at good success trying to pull out then a good a quarterback. And again, with your diary, folks, if you don't know what a diary is, look at my lesson. Okay, you've got to have the because I can give you this data, but if you are not good at putting it all together and you don't keep track of your decisions, how you know what you're doing. You might as well just be setting your money on fire. Okay. We're trying to make you uh, bring home that jack. Okay. It's all about that action, boss. Come on. Let's do this. Okay. This is uh, just looking at the top 20 quarterbacks and just for us to get a feel for the fantasy points per game from 15 to 22, just kind of see. And again, it's pretty clear the last uh, three years, things have really looked up. It has been really an interesting situation. And again, I, I, I stained the top. 30 percentile on the bottom 30 percent and look at the sadness in 2022 at the 8th 9th 10th it 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 was sad okay and you even took hits three four five i think hertz was six or seven that that helped you dig out of the hole a little bit and i forgot whoever the seventh was i don't know who it was anyway there you go there it is you can score this data and i think i've plotted it this way the old box and whisker and i look at the top 10 adp just for us to figure it out just how's the top 10 doing big difference last uh two three years look at this we're right here at this level okay 2022 had the highest variation in this population so a lot of injuries and things were happening in the top 10 quarterbacks and that is why people are running for security okay this kind of variation is is punishing and people are like man i don't want to get burned like i did last year well you could get 2022's version in 2023 or Look at this, very tight, 2021, very pretty tight, 2020, okay? Uh, we're hoping for these kind of years. This is the year we had. Uh, this is tight, but it's, decline, you know, client. So it's like, uh, you know, uh, 15, 16, 17, 18. I don't know what was going on because in 19, we stepped up to this new era. So I don't understand that. I don't know. You know, I track the data and I see it, but I don't, you know, know. Is that just random or is that a new, new normal? 
remember, if people only look at one year, they think the variation is going to be the new normal. Folks, you cannot just rely on last year's data. You need an understanding of the landscape. That's what I'm doing for you. I'm presenting that for you to have a broader base to, to, to choose, to decide, to research. Okay? The very idea of not putting time in and doing your own research. I don't know. Why are you here? Of course, you're not. Those folks shouldn't be listening to me because this ought to be like boring. Just tell me the secret stuff. Just give me the secret sauce. I don't need to know how to make it. Try to teach you how to fish, folks. Okay. I don't want you to be dependent uh, on me. Those sites that sell you stuff, they, they're not going to tell you the secret sauce. They don't want to tell you the black box. They want you to come back and pay again. What the hell? Come on, folks. What's going on? Okay. My dive tribe here. What we got here? This is percent of the top. So, question is, over 2015 to 20, First to 20th quarterback preseason, not postseason, preseason. Uh, and again, uh, what you're seeing, the numbers are postseason. So preseason, what did they think? Postseason, what did they get? So it's kind of like, what did I predict? What did I get? And percent top, the top is 100%. And you saw last year. Uh, uh, goodness there, 100%, 97. So the top two. Take a look at some of the preceding years. Look, first through 10th. Look how lack of green. So in those days, early quarterback wasn't uh, selected for. Late quarterback was the show. And people that were doing late quarterback fit with this these outcomes a lot better. Look at the 12th or so. Late quarterbacks are being selected against, folks. So what worked is not working like it was. Okay? So sometimes it takes a while for people to figure out. So they thought they had it all figured. The secret sauce was this play, late quarterback. Er, er, we changed the, the tricks here. So 2022, look at the sadness. Okay, look at the fifth, 72% of the top. So you were down 28%. Wow, you were down 30%. Wow, you were getting your butt kicked. Very interesting. Very interesting. Anyway, there's that data. Uh, I asked the question, and I looked at this data, and I went across and just counted the uh, quarterbacks that were above or below 73%. And right now I was tracking the below and you see the last few years, 2021, zero were below. 2021, any quarterback you grabbed top 10, you were within 27% of, of the best. 2020, Three, five, seven. Look at that. So 2018, you getting your butt kicked. Late quarterback ruled in 2018. 2022. Boy, five of them were sad. Look at below the 11th through 20th. Look at the change. 15, 16, 17. Okay. Half or less were sad. You were actually getting goodness. 
So late quarterback was doing well. And notice 19, 20, 21, it was sad again. So you were taking it, uh, taking it, uh, you know, in the shorts, bad. And 2022 was kind of getting back to the, uh, the normality. It was only five below. So with that data, I then went to the top and the bottom. So I cut top 10, bottom 10 preseason and asked the question postseason, who were the best above 73? Who were the worst? And you can look at the splits. And look at the last uh, 2022, 21, 20, 100%. 100% uh, were all above that, okay? Uh, so really, it's not too bad in the top 10, but I'm restricting mine to the first six rounds. Uh, notice in 2022, the 11th through 20th, 77, the worst year for deep quarterbacks. Worst year. So you really got burned. You were expecting goodness and you got whacked. Hey. And late quarterback worked well in uh, 15 to 19. Worked less 2020, 2021, and worked the least 2022. So you were sad there. And then here's the median information of the, of the top. Look at 2022, 75 and 71, almost the same median. So there wasn't, because there was so much sadness in the top, we usually don't see that. Look at 2021 and 2820. Uh, that meant half were 90% or better in both those years were 87. Okay. Half were below 60s. So you were really uh, having a hard time finding the better quarterbacks, and that's some of the worst there. So really some interesting data. If you look at uh, best-worst bias here, the uh, blue and red are the top, uh, uh, the best percentile here and you can see that uh, 2015 notice I've got the arrow that you did better you had a better shot at the late quarterback here anytime you see it better late in the best is what that's saying right there so pretty good really good so you had a good shot of getting a late quarterback less in 2016 Less in 2017. 2018 was all about it. Look at that. Even 2019, late quarterback was doing pretty good. Notice that changed. 2020, 2021, 2022. Uh -uh. So late quarterback has been selected against in this environment the last three years. So what are we doing in 2023? All I can say is it is not so clear cut that it's a given. I need to do X or Y. Okay. I'm personally not applying late quarterback in my best ball right now. Okay. If I do late quarterback, I'm going to have to do some serious streaming. Uh, if for whatever reason that's where I end up, because I'm going to be really leery after the six-round quarterbacks. And this data is supporting the new trend. We'll see what happens. I'll be glad to come back this year. Okay, I think that's all I want to say now. I've covered a lot of things that have never been covered in Twitter world and fantasy football. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. <laughs>
This is good stuff. Uh, I don't advertise like I should. I don't care. I just like to do this. I like to know this. So you're getting those, the few that listen. Thank you. Okay. I hope I help you out. But nobody's going to tell me that. So I'm going to just assume if you're sharp enough to listen to me, then you're doing good. Okay. It's new stuff anyway. You won't see this anywhere else. Okay, guys. Take care. Think long and hard about your best ball drafting right now, early June. Woo-woo. We're having fun.